another clip here from Brendan Schaub where he speaks about Joe Rogan being short as shit. I know I'm late. I understand it. Please forgive me. I know there's a huge contingency of people out there that hate when I cover stuff super late, um, depending on when it came out. I understand that. I don't really get it personally. Like I said before on the other stream, when I want, when I like somebody and I enjoy what they say about certain topics, I don't care when they speak about it really. Obviously, it would be beneficial if they spoke about it when it came out, but I just want to hear their opinion on it regardless. So don't hit me and don't abuse me. Okay, in the comments <laughs> when I clip this later. Just enjoy my commentary of what I have to say in this. I know I'm like a, a month late, but it is what it is. Okay, we are where we are. So please give me grace. I beg of you. I beg of thee. Give me grace. I beg of thee. Uh, so I'm sure you've heard about this at least by now. Tyson Fury talking smack about Joe Rogan. Because he said, uh, Joe Rogan mentioned like if Tyson Fury and, and uh, John Jones were in a room, John Jones is the one that's going to be walking out. Right, if it was like an actual fight, fight, mm -hmm. not just a boxing match. And yeah, then, it was like uh, a street fight. Yeah, so I'll just play. Here's my thing. I saw this, and we can play it mm -hmm. for the fans. How are you gonna be bald, making fun of another bald guy? I was just telling Casey that. <laughs> you know what I'm so saying? If you had like my, if you had a full set of hair yeah. like this, and like you bald bitch, then it's like yeah, get him. When you're bald, <laughs> making fun of another bald guy it doesn't work. For I know. It was Fury. <laughs> and Fury's my favorite combi co combat athlete in the sport. Yes, you've said him it many times. Him and Connor. Yeah. Connor UFC, Tyson Fury, Box him. Uh, box him. Any coincidence that Brendan Schub's two favorite people in combat sports, boxing and UFC, are both white guys? Where are the blacks, eh? You're not a fan of any of the blacks? Not a fan of any of the Russians? <laughs> by far Fury's my fucking favorite don't go for Rogan <laughs> alright I'll play it real quick I'm the baddest man on the planet I heard Joe Rogan say something about me the other day and I've been off all the social media so I didn't reply to that little pussy little fucking midget ball that midget I heard him say that John Jones could fuck me up if we went in the room together I don't think so not a man born for him mother can fuck me up in a room on our own whatever happens in that room I'd be walking out not a fucking problem. Whatever happens in that room, I'll be walking out, cock swinging, covered in fucking jizz. I'm not getting fucked. I'm doing the fucking. Whatever happens in that room, my dick's getting sucked. <laughs> I mean, I I do. I don't. I mean, Rogan's right as far as you know. I mean, of when course, it comes to hand to hand yeah. combat, but um, I, you know, it's not like a. An Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder situation where they're just straight boxers. Like, remember, Fury's a gypsy. You know, he's going to have to answer for that wrestling jiu-jitsu, which is a complete disaster. Rogan's right, but you got to give Fury a little credit. You know, he's, he's to me, he's the greatest of all time. Hmm. Greatest everywhere of all time. If you want to have that debate, come on the show. I will destroy you. <laughs> Who's your guy? Bring it on. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it, again, Real Housewives of the UFC. All this is like that drama. Okay. Okay. It's just weird. How are you going to be bald? Call another guy. Make fun of a guy. <laughs> that was bald. the only odd part. But yeah. You make fun of his height because Tyson yeah, Fury yeah. is whatever, 6'8. That's fine. Rogan's short as shit. That's fine. Excuse me? Let's run that by one, one, one minute again. Excuse me? What do you say about Joe Rogan? Okay. Okay. It's just weird. How are you going to be bald? Call another guy. Make fun of a guy. <laughs> that was bald. the only odd part, but yeah. You make fun of his height because Tyson Fury yeah, is whatever, 6'8". Yeah. That's fine. Rogan's short as shit. That's fine. Rogan's short as shit. That's fine. If this is an... If this was... This is the clearest indication if anybody was in any kind of doubt that Brendan Schaub and Joe Rogan's relationship isn't what it once was. I'm never going to be the guy that's going to sit here and say that I think they're not friends anymore. I think that whole narrative that the guys on the Fire and the Kids somebody are running with that Rogan doesn't like Brendan is nonsense. I think we've seen with Rogan, he is he's kind of like um, loyal and will still stand by people that do far worse things than what Brendan has alleged to have done or just being a douche in general. So I don't think Br Joe is like some sort of like principled moral guy where he'd be like, oh yeah, you did this, you did that, so I'm not going to be friends with you. That's not the case. And I, and I honestly do think that Joe just only really recently realised how much of a douchebag Brendan is, or maybe more so my conclusion has always been that Joe gonna kind of got put off by the whole Bobby Lee shit. When the whole Bobby Lee and Kalila shit went down, 
when Kalila basically revealed without saying Brendan's name that Brendan was in her DMs trying to fuck even though she was in a relationship with Bobby Lee and even though he was fucking married with kids at the time and he still is and obviously it transpired that all that drama that Brendan and Brian were putting the pressure on Bobby Lee to shut up to shut his fucking girl up at the time and get her in line or something it was a line that they said and they were using Joe Rogan's name as a threat to get him in line and to get him under manners and to check what he's saying I think that was the first time and I wouldn't be surprised I think Joe Rogan's head's buried in the sand and also he's fucking rich so when you're rich and you're influential like that people just don't want to bring certain stuff around you and don't want to let you know about certain things because they don't want to be the person to let you know that shit so they just kind of pretend it's not happening and kind of just be good vibes to you around so it wouldn't surprise me if that was the first time Joe Rogan actually found out, because if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, clips went viral. People were talking about shit, and Joe actually reached out to Bobby Lee and spoke to him directly and said, "Hey, by the way, I didn't say none of this shit. I didn't tell them to use my name. I didn't even know this was going on. I found out about these clips, and I'm disgusted. I I already told Brendan to stop talk, using my name, and blah blah blah. I'm sure that that's the first time." Joe found out about it but I also don't think that's reason enough for him to cut Brendan Schaub off so but I'm definitely sure based on the little things Brendan keeps saying about Joe that they're not as cool as they was because beforehand Brendan would be sucking fucking Joe off two-handed giving him the gluck 10,000 loving him would fall over would fall over himself to mention how many times he's spoken to joe i'm texting him joe said this joe said that rogan this rogan that rogan this rogan that but he's kind of chilled if you if you kept an eye and again you don't need to pay you don't need to watch the full show because no one is apart from me that makes clips and shit but if you're just checking clips that people upload on the friday can subreddit you wouldn't realize there's been a real lack a decrease if probably somebody could put it up on a graph there's definitely been a decrease in the amount of times that brendan Schaub name drops joe rogan in a in a conversation just without any kind of encouragement or whatever you just drop his name there he has kind of waned off a little bit and he's not like you know that prone to kind of keep mentioning his name all the time he just kind of lets it be and he throws in a couple of quips as he did there joe rogan shoot a shit 2016 brendan Schaub. 2020 Brendan Shaw would have never said that about Joe Rogan. He sure as shit. He would have been like, if someone said that in the room, he would have been like, oh, not Joe. You can't say that. You can't say that. He's actually taller in real life. Like, you know what I mean? He'd be making up all sorts of excuses. So this is a perfect example for anybody who was doubting that their relationship isn't what it once was. Clear as day. Now, just to be the other side of the Thing and give a little bit of context to it i think that's also unfortunate i think it, sh it should joe should have more people in his circle and come you know comedic peers and whatnot colleagues podcast colleagues scene guys who should be able to take the piss out of how short he is because he is hilariously short especially given how he kind of acts and how he speaks and shit when you actually see him next to people that you deem to be tall and he's way shorter than them or people that are short and he's shorter than them, it makes you laugh a bit. Like, oh shit, Rogan's really short. And, you know, people generally look taller on content on TV and shit and he's already looked short. So imagine how short he actually must be in real life. It should be kind of funny as a comedian to set the piss out of that guy. Like the most famous, richest guy in the industry, the most important dude in the industry is super short and looks the way that he does. It should be something that he should be open to laughing about, but it's clearly a bit of an insecurity. Clearly something that kind of bugs in the wrong way or rubs up the wrong way, which is why people don't do it because they want to be in his good graces. But he should allow himself to kind of get taken a piss out for being short and looking the way he does. But he doesn't really, which is why he probably doesn't get jokes and probably the podcast isn't as funny as it probably should be, blah, 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 blah. Who knows? But... In general, conclusion, Brennan Shaw and Rogan aren't as close as they once were, in my opinion.